Yeah, that photo where you're sitting, sitting here with Johnny Depp. Exactly. Johnny Depp is here. Yeah, and then Michael, Michael Redmond's there. But it was so funny because it's one of my first photographs I started taking backstage. Yeah. It got me into thinking, oh, there's something in this. I've got and access to all these fantastic comedians. Plus, you know, yeah. I stand up, everybody's relaxed around me. But what it was was, yeah, well, that's the, that's the thing that you've got the advantage over. You, people aren't on no. when you're in the room, so you get the best yeah, you get the best photographs. Relax, and it? all it was was that me and Johnny were just talking and laughing. Yeah. And Johnny said something that made me laugh. So you captured me laughing, you captured Johnny laughing, and then Michael was waiting to go on. So I asked Michael what his expression was because uh, he was waiting yeah, to go on. He was yeah. waiting to go on, but it looks like we're all having a really good time and he's just a miserable <laughs> bastard. But what it is is he was waiting to go on. It's just that sort of like contrast in him with his miserable face and then me and Johnny making all that. <laughs> Well, I got that. Um, I he goes, just, he I, keeps saying to you, I wasn't miserable, you know, I, know. I wasn't miserable, you know. <laughs> but the thing is about stand up is I think it's one of the most creative things you can get. I yeah. mean, I, I mean, to stand on stage by yourself and have the balls to go, I've got something to say in front of 200 people, 300 people, 400 people, 10 people even. I mean, have the balls to say that. I mean, I, and, you know, to write your own material, to present it, to structure it. I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, I, I think comedians are artists, you know. But the knack is to make them you know, they fall in love with you. If the so, audience falls in love with you, they'll they'll come and see all your shows. Yeah. And tonight you're doing the comedy store play, yeah, which, which is improv. Which was an improv show. So yeah. you do how long have you been doing that for? The improv? Oh, I've been guesting on it for years. Yeah. I mean, my happy place yeah. is working with the comedy store players because they're so good yeah. and so tight. They've been together for so long, and they can keep the structure of the show that they, they when you're a guest, they just let you go. They just let you run, and so you can go as mantle as you want because they'll always pull it back round and it won't become this self-indulgent me and Josie we've got on a, um, it, I don't know where it was, it, was a, it was a bear on the underground. A bear? A bear was on the underground. That's what, that's how it started, it was a bear <laughs> on the underground. And it got into a musical, the bear on the underground. And it was absolutely fucking hilarious. Yeah. And, and, and even we were saying that was, and that's a moment of magic. You yeah. know, it's like when you stand up and you have a moment of absolute magic where you just think where did that come from audience are laughing you're laughing i mean that's the magic well, i mean that's something that you know um i think held me in good stead for when i went into films you know ken loach got in touch with us and he cast in i went for castings because he doesn't ask you to read the script he gives you sort of like they bring another actor you know another actress and he just give you a scenario and he'll say you know you're two workmates um you're on your break you notice that she's got a black eye. You think maybe she's in trouble with her, with her boyfriend. Talk about it. And so, because I don't find that intimidating, what you have to have is you have to have truth. And that's the best comics have the truth. Same on, same on film, if you're an actor, you tell the truth. And if you tell the truth and the emotion's right, then you make a contact with the audience. Well, one-liner gags. One-liner gags, yeah, that's good as well. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. So yeah that's why you're a photographer. <laughs> <laughs> Would you prefer to do now? You're, you're happy doing both. Oh, but... I'll never give up stand up. No. Come on. I mean, oh, it's no. the greatest job in the world. Walking out on stage, you make people laugh for the mad rubbish that you think in your head. Yeah. I mean, it's the greatest job in the world. Give me a laugh. <laughs> it's an evil laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, give me an evil laugh. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh. That's shit. That's shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah? That's quite nice. Yeah, no, back. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you ones I like. Yeah. Sexy. Yeah. I want the sexiest ones, right? So give me the sexiest ones. Right. Yeah. I'll have four prints. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas cards. <clears throat> You've taken some great photographs, mate. Thank you, Dave Johns. You know, who would have thought?